In this video, which is part 8 of how to create the Hoover Crosshair label, we're going to solve some of the issues here. So far, we have, well, I noticed a few issues. One of the issues is this here. As you can see here, the cloud is being clipped off here. And same if we are at the very end. Another issue, if you look very carefully, is when I hover over the date with the cursor, look at the date, it changes slightly. Well, that should not be. Another issue is eventually if I hover down here, the nearest point will become this instead of that. So some parts are not working as expected. Doesn't matter, we're going to fix them eventually, but let's fix first the cloud hover effect where the cloud here will be more to the right side here and for there, you push it more to the left so it will not be clipped up. To do this, I'm going to scroll down and search for the exact position for that. And to do that, I need to be in the after data sets draw. We are in this if statement here. And then I'm going to search here for the cloud, um, this one. This here is the cloud, but this here is the real cloud drawing of the position. So the real issue here is if I'm on the left side, the cloud goes too far, goes even further left. So what we need to understand is the pixel coordinates. So we're going to grab here left of coordinates, or this is the chart area left. Chart area, and then here the left. I'm going to calculate what is the pixel of this first. So if I hover over it and I see this error, but I have to figure out that one, you can ignore it for now. It still works nicely here, as you can see. Uh, it indicates that uh, the left position is 15 pixels. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to grab here the starting drawing coordinates here, put it in there. So if I do this, right now nothing happens. If I go here, it works fine. You can see here, this is left and this is the starting coordinate pi pixel, which is 600 plus. And then if I refresh this and then go here, what will happen is you can see here now we're in a negative. And what's for us very important is to know, are we lower than 15? If we do, in that case, it would mean it will go further there to the left, which will be eventually clipped off or out of the screen. So that would mean that I need to move this to the very left of starting at 15 pixels. So we're going to work on that right now. And what I'm going to do is the following. I'm just going to create here a let value. I'll just call it the let value, but you can give it a proper name. And the let value is basically this value here. Then what I want to do is I want to compare, make a very simple if statement. Now this is the reason why I give it let and not a constant, because I want to reassign the value if ever we are too much to the left. So then what I'm going to say here, an if statement, if, or let's say if the value would be smaller than left, in that case, value will be reassigned and will have the value of left or has left as the pixel value. So if I save this right now, refresh, oh, of course, we didn't do anything yet. And the reason why I need to get here the value and assign the value in here. Save that, refresh. So now if I do this, as you can see here, it starts to work, but we get a chain reaction. And the chain reaction is it clips off now the text or the text needs to be repositioned as well. But of course, if I go to the right side, we need to make sure it is working as well. So what I'm going to do here is another case. And I do feel that values maybe not the right term. It can be very confusing, but I'll just leave it for it is. If this is larger than right, in that case, I want to do the follow following. I want to reassign that to become the right minus the, um, I guess the text width that we should have. And the reason for this is to make sure that the position is well set. If I save that, refresh, go here. Oh, did I save this? Refresh. And I noticed that it's not working. So let's double check here. Uh, of course, so we're, we're cutting the text width in half. So that doesn't make sense. We need to just say from the right side, minus the full length of the cloud that will be here. So that would say, not this, not the text, just, just the text width itself. Save, refresh. So now, say refresh. All right, interesting. It does not read it. 
Um, of course. So what I need to do here then, of course, is to check what is the right side here. Here the right side would not be, because this is the starting point. That would mean it will always start basically here. That's not how I need to calculate. I need to calculate the last point here, which is basically the width. So that will mean if the value plus width, and the width would be the text width. So we can go to grab that, put it in there, refresh. So then if I go here, as you can see here, now it will be repositioned. We could change this as well. That will be in a separate video. I will make it in a separate video. But what I need to do now is making sure that the, the cloud, the text cloud is also repositioning to the center here, wherever that text should be, depending on this kind of statement. So we're going to look here at the text. And for the text, and let's give this a more better position of a, a term, we're going to say text position will be equal to what exactly? Well, what we do know is we're going to grab here this specific one, put it in there, and we can change this now into our text position. So if I save that, refresh, nothing really changes, but now I can make it very easily or reassign the value again. So what I'm going to do here, if, and I'm just going to use this base here, the value would be equal strict to left. And the reason why I'm doing this is because here we assess the value, whatever this value is, and we give it a new pixel coordinate of left. So value would equal to left. If that is the case, what I want to do then is say this text position and the text position will be where exactly? Well, what we need to do is it starts at left and probably we have to move it 50% to the right to the center of this cloud. So I'm going to say here um, left plus and I'm going to say here the text width divide by 2. Let's save that and just confirm this. There we are. All right, that works nicely. So what I want to do of course is then for this one here same story. And then probably we can check here. If value would be equal to well what exactly is it the right and you can see here this is what's value is, is equal to right minus text width whatever this value is if this is the case then what i will say here is the text position will be equal to right and then here we're doing exactly the opposite it is minus the text width divided by two Save this, refresh. So now we have that all nicely working. So that is it. And then I guess in the next video, I'll work on making the pillar properly.